I've imported a 2D HSQC experiment that is not phased. We can tell it's not phased because I have the colors set up such that the black contours are positive and the red contours are negative. To phase an NMR spectrum like this, or to phase a nosy spectrum, which is another type of phase sensitive input, we click first on the phasing icon on the top menu bar with the, with the left hand mouse button. And what we want to do is select three rows for phasing. So we put our cursor on a large signal, use the right hand mouse button to click and then add. We take another signal, a large signal, we put the right hand mouse button, add. A third signal from another region in the spectrum, the right hand mouse button and add. And then we click on the R icon within the phasing routine, which will show us the three rows that we've selected. You can see that on the top spectrum, there's a red vertical line on the largest peak in the spectrum. If I want to phase this to zero order, I put the mouse on the zero order phase correction, hold the left hand mouse button, drag the mouse up and down until the peak in the top spectrum is in phase. Then I would click the one icon, which is for first order phasing, and drag the mouse up and down until the spectrum on the bottom is in phase, as it is now. The spectrum in the middle should of course be in phase as well. Then I would click on the save and return icon. Now you can see that the rows are phased, but the columns are not phased. To phase the columns, you'd first click on a signal with the right hand mouse button. You could say remove all. This will remove the three rows that we've selected and then right click again on a large signal, click on add, select another large signal, right click add, select another large signal from the uh, um, uh, higher frequency region of the spectrum, right click add, and then click on the C icon with the vertical arrows which is for columns. Now you can see the three columns that we've selected again the red cursor, the red line on the top spectrum is on the largest signal I'll go to the zero order phasing icon and I'll phase that column. Then I will go to the first order phasing icon and phase the spectrum on the bottom so that it's in phase. The spectrum in the middle you can see is in phase. I go save and return and then you can see that the spectrum is now in phase and return and now I have an HSQC spectrum that is in phase.